this guy. Beekeeper. Okay. Maybe analyze this time. I think that lets you hit the head. Is that nest? Go for the head. Hopefully he isn't too dangerous. Nice. Oh wow, that seems pretty strong. Oh, that's insanely strong. Analyze is really good. No reaction. Each kick sinks deeper to the husk as if the creature was hollow to begin with. The creature looks like a mishmash of beehives. Even the insides are completely hollow. There really is no explanation for this. What makes it even more puzzling is the human-like appearance of the creature, which suggests it was once a human being. That's a lot of uh, Dan's diagnosis. It's like, hmm, it was once a human. Ooh, four bullets, though. Take off the head. You cannot make sense what is a head and what is just another beehive. All right. Okay. He was way easier than he looked. Okay. I'm going to do the sewer puzzle now. Finally found my way back here. This place is such a goddamn maze, I swear. So let's remember, there's a box on top of that door there that needs to be pushed. And I want to get to that central door. So how to get there? This leads to anything? No. I need this disabled. So which one would that be? Probably this one? Alright. Initially I thought you had to come back to this puzzle. But it seems like you can just solve it on the spot. Especially since I couldn't find any way to get back here. So that opens that. Which means we can turn this one on, and then that one off. Is there anything here? Oh, we can unlock this. That probably matters somehow. I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm gonna fixate on the right side. Yes, we need... What do we need? I don't get how this works. Because even if I do turn this off, I have this box in the way. Hmm. What does that really do for us? Maybe this ladder is more important. I can turn this off and go for the left. Let's do that then. What does our team think of the sewers? There at least flows a little bit better here. It makes things just a tad more bearable. That machinery and all those pipes, they control the sewer system? Looks complicated. Levi's looking back constantly. I think I heard someone or something move there.
Oh, my last goulash. Alright, here you go, Marina. Enjoy. I needed this one. Can I use the ladder? Oh no, that's not useful. This just goes back to the other side. Where do I want to go here? I want to go right. Let's turn off the right waterfall then. It just looks like those boxes will collide, though. It's not like... I want to get there, but these boxes are in the way. Unless I can move around? No, I can't. So now what? How do I get to that door? What happens if you turn on now while the box is there? Nope. Oh, that seems like it did something. Because now that these two lights are both on when it shouldn't be. I did not expect that to actually work. Interesting. Okay. Can't do anything with that box, but I can turn off again. There's so many people to feed now with a full party. Hunger is actually like kind of becoming an issue. Okay, this should be okay now. This is all the way there. And make any more food. First we'll buy. One. Okay, we need to start using not hot rotten meat. Um, just things that we have a lot of. I have like a turnip. Oh, that barely did anything. Alright, new territory. The air down here is heavy, moist, and musky. Foundations of decay. It's cold down here. I never knew these caverns existed. Prieville manages to surprise me all these years later. Do we have to climb back up? Maybe I should have just stayed up. She's got really strong arms for climbing those ladders. The kids at the orphanage told rumors of caves like these, but we never actually found our way down here. It's probably for the better. We would have just gotten lost. These fear messages are non-stop. I need to give them a beer or something. There, chill the fuck out. Oh! Little rat man.
I haven't saved in a good while, by the way. I don't want to die to anything. I'd have to redo, like, the whole orphanage section and exploring the shopping district. That's a pretty nasty death if we die here. I think if we... Oh! Is that Ratman again? If we make it out of here alive, I think we'll just hit a save. That's... Darn. I don't want to run into any traps again. Hi, do I follow you? Oh no. Caves are even more disorienting than sewers. I'm gonna drop their back here. The bottle of vodka and five blue vials. Oh, that is so good. And we have some blue herbs. Hearing noises again. Just like in the deep woods. Do I chase you? I don't know. Ugh, it feels like such a trap to chase you. The butterfly says here. I'm going to trust the butterfly. Been good to us so far. Chase the butterfly, not the rat. You hear something? Lo no. Please do not. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, change my mind. I want to save now. <laughs> I, I want to leave and save and then check this out. Oh. I don't think I want any part of this. Goodbye. We're going to attempt running. <laughs> Lurker in the dark. Oh boy. <laughs> Why is her mind so low? Tell us we can. No. Butterfly, you did me wrong. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we should heal just in case. Just make sure everyone's topped off. Can I attack? Can I analyze? Uh, let's pull for a precision stance. Yeah. Attack. Maybe you restore your mind. You don't really use mine. Uh, that pills. Hmm, on Levi maybe. Or Marina. They're both pretty good. We'll do Levi, since Marina needs mine to sustain her damage. Creature's too far for you to analyze it properly. Oh boy. Torso. Just torso? That's it? 
Okay. Um, let's attack. Okay, so Levi gets an extra turn now because of the pet pills. Oh, come on. Miss? With precision? Oh. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be hitting that just yet. Okay, let's guard. Um, beer. Say Olivia. I don't think we can hit yet. Guard. Uh, maybe Dan. Where's mine? Okay. Black Steel? Left Paw. Miasma. Oh. So he's got two weapons in him. That you can attack? Do I want to do that? Okay. Let's go for a paw, maybe. Right paw? We don't know how hard he gets. Oh, nice! That's actually quite fragile. Get rid of the other paw, too. Piercing Howl. Oh, big mind damage. All right. Marina didn't get a turn, did she? She still has all three of her revs. Do we go for the torso? Should we maybe attack one of these swords? Let's attack my asthma and see what happens. It's weak. Okay. Um. Let's use a Perev. And. Let's go for. Glass on the head with Olivia. How much damage? Oh, oh, oh. The line worked. The moonless beast is blinded, her eyes are bleeding. Perfect. Um Maybe we should just go for the kill here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hind paws is just one target. We could maybe just go for the hind paws and then go for the head after. That might be less health than the torso. If the sword does something like black steel, then maybe we'll go after it, but I'm not really noticing anything. Do you have any offensive skills here? Rot? I don't know. Oh, analyze, I guess. Lita's just gonna be my item user for now, I think. 
and keep uh, mind up. <laughs> She's just passing beers to people at this point. Here you go, Levi. <laughs> uh, oh. Yes, okay, loss. This should be it. We have so many double attacks for the head. Oh, 1751, that's gotta be it. Oh, still alive. Oh my gosh. A lot of health. Pyromancy trick. Uh. This gotta be it. Nine, ten, four. Come on. Kill it. Nice. Well, oh. hi. Hold it. I'll take care of her. Easy, girl. Easy. You did good. These ones are not the enemy. They're friends. So August knows Moonless? Huh. Hi. She is an old family acquaintance. She doesn't mean harm. I hope you're not hurt too badly. Let's see, what do I got? Not much, but hopefully these will help with the worst bite marks. Cloth fragment and two condensed blues. Hold advantage on that wound. Use the herbs so you don't get any scars. Take out, take care out there, my friend. August is such a badass. I'm not even bleeding though, but thanks for the cloth. What's the other thing he gave me? Condensed blue? Heals 125. Okay. Let's get Olivia's mind back up. We'll use a wine file. It was like 50, right? Close enough. And. One for Levi. All right. Wow. That was kind of scary. Ooh, there's something else going there. All right, so this is what the butterfly wanted me to do. What is this place called again? I don't know where to find it. Some sort of caverns. Tunnel 4. Hmm. One sec. What about this area? So you can go down, can go up. I think down is usually the scarier path, so we'll go up first. All right. Ooh. Is everyone healed? Yeah. Escape. It's dark inside. Looks like a crypt. You're not sure because of the darkness, but it almost looks like there are figures standing there. Sweets inside. Hmm. Oh, creepy. A skeleton monks stand forever and guard here. <laughs> can't believe that actually freaks me out. <laughs> Collapse the moment you touch it. Uh, I'm just freaked out right now because I do not want to suddenly die to something and have to reset all that progress, so. 
Oh, we should be able to make a... The mushroom thing. Mushroom food. Where is it? Mushroom stew. Yes. We'll make a lot of that. Great. Guess we'll make this. Yeah, it's just what white file. Oh, I could use murky piles for the next hard fight. Mine restoration, yes. We're gonna crack. Alright. Now I want this urn. God manifesto. A short manifesto on Godhood, written by renowned occultist Donovan Hugo. Donovan Hugo? Like, Father Hugo? I have read contrary beliefs, ridiculous beliefs even, from facets not to be named here. From an a fetty facet well known in occult circles despite his biased view on the world of the otherworldly. Just because this not to be named dark priest wrote a book that is cited in most occult studies doesn't mean his word shouldn't be taken with a pinch, no, with a jar of salt. Words about the death of an older god especially are nothing short of, of absurd. How do you kill an idea, an inspiration, or one of the primordial concepts once it is conceived? The thought will forever haunt your mind as long as our consciousness is there to remind us of it. Once an older god is born, it has existed forever. A god, like a human soul, is not constrained by lin linear time and space. It can reincarnate multiple times within our history and future history without us knowing any better. They spawn from the green stream, but which spawns first, an older god in its physical form, or the concept of our consciousness gave birth to. The mockery that is the new gods, the puppets yearning to become the puppeteers, should never be mistaken with the gods that dwell beyond our understanding. They are but byproducts of the immense influence the older gods hold on to us. Just by flying too close to the sun, or why not moon, and one can attain a glimpse of the true intensity that is the older gods. Men inherited the power from the beasts that want walked before us, how could such power come even close to that of older gods? Huh. Okay. Press through the crack. There's more. And there's twenty buttons. It's like one mushroom stew right there. Just don't kill me randomly. That's all I'm asking for. Dirty toilet. Purifying talisman. To find at 85. 92. Oh, this works. Oh! So this is a shortcut to... This should go to the church, I think. No. Then second floor goes to the church? Alright. It's pretty nice. Now I'm thinking I should have made the church circle, the teleporter, if we have like a nice little elevator here. Let's go all the way down now. Feel the walls closing in on you. There's a butterfly. Oh, someone's here. Is that Tanaka? Oh, this keeps going. Alright, let's just go to presumably Tanaka. 
Hi. It's really troublesome what has come over a train trip, especially when you have a big... You keep saying this. Are you okay? Oh, because in this run, I still haven't met him yet. Not exactly, but the tower does seem like a good waypoint. Don't let my looks deceive. I do know my way around nature. I think at least. Are you alright? I'm afraid I will have to refuse your company. That What? I, I asked if you're alright. What? You your dialogue doesn't make sense. He is not alright. He's switched on the monitor. Read the instruction document. There's some text on the monitor in a simplified writing format. The telectroscope cannot be connected to the logic unless all three of the cables are switched on. Connecting one before another does not cause any damage to the system, but it should not be done without clear orders from the designated official in charge of the operation. Please refer to the operation manual for information on the personnel in charge. I have a feeling I won't be getting any orders, so I think I'll just do it anyways. What'd that do? What did that do? What are you doing here? Not exactly, but... Does that make sense? That does make sense, right? Let's check what's the rest of this place. NLU Reconnaissance Report. All right. A brief report about a partisan organization called NLU, Nameless Liberty Underground, distributed to all mid-level Bremen officers assigned to Bohemia. Okay. This will tell us more about what the Bremens were doing here. Quick bullet points of the reconnaissance. Nameless Liberty Underground, the organization's root state. Back to the First Great War. Formed from a small groups participating in civil disobedience across different regions in Europa, Boronia, and Eastern Sanctuaries. Became more organized with partisan fighters and professionals with experience in guerrilla warfare. The organization formed under, under NLU, named after the First Great W. War, I assume. Loosely connected throughout Europa. No centralized leader or figure. Spies in high rank positions in the armies of Eastern Union, Roman Empire, and Allied forces. Okay. And this is a Bremen officer's report of another group called the NLU. Alright, I think that's what it is. Recently has taken action in sabotaging both Allied forces, Operation Bow and Arrow, as well as Eastern Union's Operation Logic. Bohemian sect considered a threat to Operation Logic. Hmm. But now Operation Logic belongs to Bremen's, right? Not the NLU? I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure it will clear up. See what officer you have to report to. Ah, shit, I can't read the instructions again. Alright. I guess now we can see the rest of the caverns. I think we took on the hardest thing, which is moonless. And we're kind of okay. A little bit hungry. A lot of bit hungry. Good thing there are mushrooms down here. Foundations of Decay, that's what it's called.
I don't know how much of these caverns I should explore because this is right like this right here is very foreboding. And I'm very wary of like insta killed death traps. Uh I guess I cornered you. Hi. Oh no, I I'm in a trap. No, fucking away. <laughs> I just wanna live. Uh. Oh, okay. Ho 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 ho. Well, that's like six attacks. And we don't even know how devastating one is. Alright. Let's focus one. Maybe you should guard. Because uh, you have guard plus. So you could get more reps. Uh, does reps even matter with her? I don't think it does. Just do pyrancy. Um. Hmm. Oh! This might be a good time to use marking or gasoline caster. Wait, hold on. Murky, this is this attacks all enemies though. Let's let's do a murky. I might need to give her a small thing amulet. Oh, that's wrong. I think. Oh. Kind of fast as well. Fast scratch fever. Uh, don't just don't kill her. Don't kill her. Oh, you got we got one. She is going through it. We're, we're fine though. We can handle the status effects. We're a doctor. Can we not use these in combat? I guess not. A greater healing should be good. And then... Let's just go in order. One, two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. I feel like I shouldn't need to... Guard here with her. I think Healing Whispers is going to be decent enough. Let's attack. Game's last words, you know? Oh, her defense is up. I like that some of them are just scratching themselves. It gives me a little more breathing room. Uh, oh, that's so nice. Okay, but this is getting easier. Let's, let's attack someone who's burning. And then you just keep burning people. They're just spreading all the infections. You're okay. Uh, and I think this is pretty solved now. This should be enough. Come on. Yes. Nice. Oh, the rat man. Oh, ho, ho. oh, look at all the things I have to heal. Start with the greater. Then we will be doing some... Um, let's get rid of the bleeding. Actually, this is a great uh, toilet paper time. For people who are bleeding and infected. There we go. No drawbacks. Now we will use Remedial Infection. Here... Oh, not done yet. Remedial Infection here. Remedial Infection here. 
Rotten meat. Eat him. Satisfying. Oh, frail body from the ratkin. This frail and curious creature seems to share characteristics of both human and rat species. No kidding. We are not entirely sure whether this thing was originally a human that has mutated to resemble a rat, or if it was once for if it once was a rat that has mutated closer to human. Whatever is the case, it's clear that the creature has none of the positive trait of either species. The product seems weak against pretty much everything, except it has properties that make it durable against otherworldly powers. I searched that already. You're gonna have to give me a few thymuses back. Let's uh, do some coin flips. Just keep doing heads. Ooh, I have Sylvian. Oh, that's not that great. I already have that. Let me just loot all these people real quick. Okay, that gave me like two small thing amulet, which I gave to uh, Olivia and Levi. And now he has two of them, so he's got uh, 14 agility, which I don't think is even that good considering Dan's on 16 and she's on 20. So this withdrawal stuff is really bad. I don't think it's worth even giving him two of them. Maybe I just go back to... Um, hmm. I had heart and heart there before. Maybe I should use shield of four instead. We'll give her heart and heart. One with reckless. Oh, the magic defense goes way down. Maybe not. A lot of mushrooms here. Okay, this seems like it goes back to the beginning now. Yes. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna go and search for some other things that I could do. Oh no, the radio. The radio again. Oh, and there's these guys here. Just in case that radio ghost thing is really hard, I'm going to avoid it for now until I hit a save. And then we'll take him on. Ooh. Oh, right, there's two of them. I think we'll turn in all these heads and turn them into uh, soul shards. And then maybe raise affinity with uh, Vanushka. So we can get that brain flower thing, see what that's about. And then we'll rest. Fifteen non-contestant heads. That's bad. And now that's how many substones? Eighteen now. That should get us a lot of stuff. 
Here's another asymmetrical circle. Fanushka. Yes. So this leads to his roof. Pale tree pushed through the ground and smashed a hole into the ceiling. The hole looks too tight to climb through, but you're wondering where the roots of this pale tree go. Okay. Maybe down here? There it is. The roots push through the ceiling. You could use it to climb down if you wanted to. Oh, this is creepy. Heads, come on. Nice. Thorn ring, eh. Very eh. Looted vault? A vault that clearly belongs to a larger setup, most likely to an armor set. On its own, it already offers decent protection. It's minus one agility, but she could take it. Although it's just it's just simply not better than what she already has, which is leather armor. Alright. Well we got our Venushka affinity, that's what we wanted. What are these things? It's pulsating. Right. And this is back to where the food storage was. Hmm, alright. What do you want to do next? We do have all the effigies now. So we can go to the church uh, underground passage. So we'll head there. I guess I could use the shortcut now. And maybe then we'll sleep at the church? If there is a bed there? I don't know if there's a bed there. Ugh, oh, there's a bed there, but I can't even get to that area. This guy is using this bed. Where is a useful bed? I'm getting re-traumatized looking at those coffins and having to fight death mask here. I don't think there's a bed in the church. That's usable. Alright, I guess we're going back to the bookstore or something. I forgot about this way. Maybe there's a bed here that I forgot about? Anything I could just grab all the lootables here. Three, oh! Gunshot, right? That would be the elite soldier killing everybody. Oh, there's some good stuff here. Ski. 
Excuse me. Take the reel, but we've already seen that. Yep. We've read that. Oh, yeah, he will attack. Okay. He looked like he wouldn't, but... There he is, trying to kill us. Oh boy. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? Olivia now has extra turns, so that's pretty nice. Small thing, Amulet is doing work. Oh, he's so tanky. The troop is arm twitches. Is that a guard prompt? already gone. Just go for his torso, try to end this fight. doing more damage than Dan. Oh, but when Marina hits, she hits. 1,000, damn. Hey guys, what the fuck is this? There's Marina again, but I have Marina in my party. What? What? Hello? What, what is going on here? It's me? Doppelganger Marina. How's it going? How's it going? What kind of bullshit is this? Who or what are you? How's it going? What? What are you doing here? I stopped by on my way to the church. I used to spend a lot of time here as a kid. The place has a soothing effect on me. What the hell? No, but we already met at the church? I stopped by on my way to the church. I used to spend a lot of time here as a kid. The place has a soothing effect. You know how weird these dialogue options are, it reminds me of what we just had with Tanaka. So I'm wondering if the Tanaka we met there is a doppelganger Tanaka as well. Because, like, it just, it didn't make sense. The conversation didn't make sense. It was like this one. I stopped. 
are we just going to leave this abomination be? A bookstore. <laughs> and we're just going to completely dodge that topic. No matter how grim things might look, bookstores always have something soothing about them. I guess they are my safe space. I loved this place when growing up. I lived nearby and would come here almost daily to browse through the foreign section. I could picture the faraway countries depicted in the books very vividly. Even back then, I always wanted to get as far from Pieville as possible. Levi's browsing through the gothic horror section. Find anything interesting? Just browsing. You've been browsing that particular book for a good while now. Oh? What is it? It's nothing. Never mind. The Count Dragul of Lyra? Nice pick. Huh. Okay, what are we doing about her? Should we attack her? How can you be so calm in this situation? She answers exactly like how Marina would, or how Marina did. Oh, this is exactly like the... Or this might be like the Bremen experiments going... Hmm. That does remind me of Levi as well in the sewers. We did find another Levi, so... Okay, uh, let's attack her, I guess. Is that so? Yes, it's exactly so. Then I guess I'll swallow you whole. Oh. Swallow. Swallow you whole. Oh, this is so weird. I'm trying to understand what exactly is going on here. Is this... Prem experiment, or is this Moon Scorch, or a mixture of both? I'm very confused. Ooh, she probably has hurting. Let's get rid of her. Oh, I should have taken heroin. Gosh, I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Pyromancy. And then we'll use a murky vial on her. Oh, that's all it took. Okay, she wasn't that hard. Marina's down. Chalk, soulstone, and colored blouse. And I think this will also count as a contestant head. Well, that was weird. Now we can save. There's no radio here. So, we can't get attacked by that thing. We want to do this, right? We want to pass the time. And upgrade our skills. I think we should do it. Yeah, we did a lot as well. There goes Pav. There are 11 souls left. I want to save first and then maybe experiment with some of the skills. 